Data Types in Hadoop. Data Types in Hadoop. The first data type is text. The function of this data type is stored to string data. The int writable data type stores integer data. Long writable, as the name suggests, stores long data. Similarly, other data types are float writable for storing float data and double writable for storing double data. There is also Boolean writable and byte writable data types. Null writable is a placeholder when a value is not needed. This illustration here shows a sample data type that you can create on your own. This data type will need you to implement a writable interface. As you can see, writable will define a deserialization or serialization protocol. Every data type in Hadoop is a writable. Writable comparable will define your sort order. All keys must be of this type, but not value. Then, int writable and long writable, and the various concrete classes that you'll define for your different data types. Lastly, sequence files refers to a binary encoded with a sequence of key value pairs. Input format in MapReduce. MapReduce can specify how its input is to be read by defining an input format. The table lists some of the classes of input formats provided by the Hadoop framework. Let's look at each of them. The first class is key value text input format, which is used to create a single key value pair per line. Text input format is used to create a program that considers a key as the line number and a value as the line itself. N line input format is similar to text input format, except that there are N number of lines that make an input split. Multi-file input format is used to implement an input format that aggregates and for the multiple class files sequence into file one input split. format to be implemented. The input file must be a Hadoop sequence file, which contains serialized key value pairs.